In today's video, I'm going to be covering WeMark, a decentralized blockchain startup for digitalized content. Hey guys and welcome to today's video. So today guys we're going to be talking about WeMark. Now WeMark are a blockchain based startup for digitalized content so what they're trying to do is delve into the photography industry and allow photographers to be better awarded for their content. Now they're doing this by cutting out the middleman and bringing in the decentralization that blockchain offers. So they are having a token sale which starts on May 7th so just under a month away and I do want to alert you guys of this project because it does have quite a few benefits and it's very very unique. I haven't seen a blockchain startup in the photography industry as of yet so you're welcome to come and check this one out. Let me know your thoughts on it and without further ado we will get straight into it. So what this project is about guys is giving the royalties to the authorized creators. Now what they're going to offer is a photography marketplace which is different to all the others that are currently in existence. So we mark a growing a community of leading independent photographers who are licensing their photos directly to customers without the use of a third party agency. They're utilizing this blockchain to change the photography stock forever. So why we mark guys? Well, 85% of revenue for your work. Um, you know exactly who's licensed your photos. You have full control over your photo prices and you get to join a supportive community of independent creators and you're also being a part of a change. So by contributing your photos and your talent, you're helping create a better and more sustainable business model for the photography industry. So as you can see, if you are a licensed photographer, you can head over here and get in and create your own portfolio. Once again, guys, it's all about rewarding the creators for their work and I'm a big supporter of that, you know. It's pretty simple to get in and get started. You create a WeMark account, you upload your photos, verify your ID, and you can send your account and photos for review. So this is pretty awesome. Um, obviously, the promotion of transparency and trust is a big one through the blockchain. Um, the photographers are in control and this aligns with the interests of photographers as well. Um, I'm going to talk some more statistics soon. Basically, this is what they're offering. So 85% royalties on all photography. Well, these are some large organizations down here that are quite popular in the photography space. As you can see, Adobe stock up to 35% royalties, um, Getty Images up to 30%, and Big One Shutterstock up to 30% as well. So as you can see, they're very under-rewarded there for their work. And I believe personally that everyone should be rewarded adequately for what they produce. And I think blockchain is really revolutionizing the world in the way that it's able to cut out the middleman and give creators a good chance to become established entrepreneurs and develop a legacy. So this is their mission statement, guys. Obviously, you can come and have a read of that and see what they're trying to achieve in a bit more detail. But I will try to get into the tech specs for you guys. So this is their separate website. Um, this one is simply wemark.com. Gives an overview of the company and what they're trying to do. This one here is tge.watermark. So this is more focused on the token sale itself. And you can understand a bit more about why the token is needed, etc. So basically, the problem that currently exists, guys, digital content is one of the most centralized industries that exists right now. We have over 100 million creators and 1 billion customers, yet less than 100 companies actually control the major distribution of that content. Now, content marketplaces and agencies are much stronger than individual creators and they have a lot more influence. And as a result of that, creators are forced to give up a large part of their revenue the transparency and control and the rights to their content. So this is a pretty predominant problem in this space and WeMark are developing a nice simple solution to this problem. So it's pretty cool and as you can see this is the proposed fee that they're offering. Um, here's a bit of a look at the distribution and what's happening here. But it's a pretty straightforward model and you can see a lot more detail here as well so come and check that out now in terms of the WeMark token itself guys there's going to be 135 million in supply um, the soft cap is at one and a half million and the hard cap is at eight million so those are pretty low targets and i think they're definitely very achievable um, the tick up for the token itself will be WMK. It's an ERC20 type token and the initial price at the token sale will be approximately 20 cents. Now there'll be 38% available through this token sale 
37.5% um, will be left for community rewards and economic scaling, 12% in advisors and partnerships, 11% for the team and employees, and 1.5% in the bounty program. So you're welcome to come and pre-register for this token sale and also come and read the white paper as well. So there's the team here, which I will step into. Um, they're a pretty decent team, and there's some very, very strong advisors in here, which I do want to talk about as well. So what we have here are the main three founders, um, and Ty here has been in this industry for quite some time, over 10 years experience with digital marketing and growth hacking. So he's been in various organizations and startups, and as you can see, his LinkedIn profile is there to check out. We have Pavel here, he's been a technology leader for over 10 years and has various experience in the software engineering and in management side of things. And also Roy, who's the VP for business development and the co-founder as well, who's a serial entrepreneur with quite the experience in strategic partnerships and business development. So overall, nice strong founders there. And we lead into the rest of the team. Um, so we have the front end, back end, uh, lead developers, marketing, full stack dev and marketing specialist there and another marketing intern. Um, so they all look pretty solid. Obviously, I do recommend going and do a bit more research on these guys, but overall, I'm pretty happy with it. And if we do step into the advisors, as you can see, some very reputable advisors in here, which I was very impressed with. Um, this is something to consider when looking at an ICO, guys. Obviously, the team is very important. You want these guys to be there for as long as this project's around, backing up its support and holding in the backbone for the company. But if we do take a look in the advisors, here's your biggest one, Lars Perkins, the former CEO and founder of Picasa and also director at Google. So he's a huge one and to have him on board gives a lot of strength and a lot of incentive into this project. Also, we have Lee Torrance, who's the marketplace director at Canva. Um, I've used Canva quite a lot and it's a very awesome software for creating photography. Um, you also got Michael and Karen here from Shutterstock, which is good. So although Shutterstock are a more centralized form of WeMark, it's good to see that they are on board and advising and investing into such an awesome project like WeMark. And obviously a lot more down here as well. Um, so you're welcome to go and check that out and see some of their backgrounds. But there's obviously a lot of initial support from WeMark in terms of investors and organizations. So that's something to see as well. Now, leading on with that into the investors, as you can see, here's some other organizations which have firmly invested into WeMark and they'll have a lot of strong support behind them there. In terms of partners, as you can see, a few more here which you can go and check out. So some crypto organizations and some people in the photography space as well. Now we join into the roadmap here. So there's been a bit of development in 2017. Um, they had a seed round which raised 1 million, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, September 2017, they launched their waiting list and more than 1,500 professional photographers signed up within the first few weeks. January 2018, they launched the WeMark Alpha version, which was pretty cool as well. And February, leading into the advisory board, so building on those advisors. Uh, March 2018, announcing the content partners, so that's pretty sweet to see as well. So strategic partnerships with those in the world's largest content providers in stock photography. Those include Getty Images, um, so they are a top provider with over 20,000 premium images submitted to WeMark. Uh, April 2018, the white paper, and obviously May 2018, the token generation event. And basically just expanding on the whole platform, supporting new payment methods, and continuing to evolve. So there's a bit of a look at their blog there. That's awesome as well. Very nice laid out, very clean. And a quick look at their roadshow documentation there too. So if we do jump over here into about... Um, obviously, I just want to make a quick point. This website is just beautiful, guys. It's very, very well designed, very professional, and that's what you want to see, especially around a organization that is supporting photography. A bit more information about the company, about the team, and all that sort of thing, so you can come and check that out in the About section. They also have a section for careers, which is pretty awesome, so they show what kind of positions are open right now with WeMark. Um, obviously your Facebook, Twitter and Telegram channels there as well. So I will quickly open up the white paper for you guys and we can take a look at that as well. So here we are guys, we've stepped into the white paper now and this is version 1.1. So I'm going to walk you through it, see what I can find, see if there's anything that stands out. 
Um, essentially, they give a quick summary of the industry, digital content, and basically everything that surrounds that, as well as some of the background and motivation that came to mind when creating WeMark. Um, the distributed marketplace, which is their solution, okay? So this is what we want to talk about, and this is their distributed approach for digital content, and it's based on a few different principles where creators can license their content directly to users, keeping all rights to their content, knowing who's licensed it and what its price is. Um, distribution terms and fees are immutable, so once they're set through smart contracts, they'll be signed and that'll be it. Uh, referral programs as well can be put in place to help creators and marketplaces reach broader audiences. And their vision is essentially to grow this thriving economy of digital content powered by this blockchain-based protocol that aligns with the interest of the entire community. So there is a bit more information here on the protocol, on the immutable distribution, and how that's going to work, as well as the automated payment distribution if a creator chooses to license their property. Um, so cutting out the middleman and things like that, as you can see, reducing fees to just 15%. Talking a bit more on the blockchain, how that all works, obviously built on the Ethereum blockchain. And here's some of the use cases as well. So stock photography will be the biggest one. Uh, it's the most centralized market in digital content space right now. Like I said, um, huge fees being in place for that right now. So obviously they're going to be solving that by giving photographers a lot more reward for their work. They have some strategies here for acquiring different customers, so their flexibility, their curation and modern collection, their prices and their community support will attract people to utilizing the WeMark platform. Um, their content review and moderation here you can read about, as well as their identity verification, which is a key. So obviously you'll have to have your passport or driver's license um, be fully verified before you can license content and there'll obviously be copyrights in place as well to ensure that that isn't happening. Uh, you can see a little bit more on payments there as well. So obviously they want to assist customers with purchasing WeMark tokens using traditional payment methods like credit cards and wire transfers, as well as Bitcoin and Ethereum. So there will be some fees applied here for converting different funds, but essentially you will need to acquire these WeMark tokens to utilize the platform and those will be the payment form for this work. So it's a pretty cool concept. Like I said, guys, it's a huge market and there's a lot of opportunity here for this to do well. Just reiterating those token economics there, you guys can come and see the details. Uh, they talk about some of the future use cases they're looking at and how the WeMark tokens will be better than the traditional payment methods. And we obviously know that, guys. ERC20 tokens are great. They're a very low-cost payment solution, very, very fast, very efficient. Um, a lot of startups are utilizing tokens now, as you guys are probably already aware. So there's a bit of a look at the token allocation again, and this is how they're going to be using their proceeds and funding strategy as well. Um, they talk about decentralization, why that's necessary, a little bit more on the protocol, future projects, and also a big piece on transparency and privacy, which is key to publishing digitalized content. We want everything to be safe and secure. Uh, you can see a little bit more detail here on the team and the advisors, like I've already covered. But that's basically it, guys. There's not a whole lot to it. It is pretty straightforward. It's really just putting the power back into the hands of the creators itself, cutting out that middleman. And obviously, there are still some fees involved for creators, but it's a lot lower than it was before. And incorporating blockchain and decentralization is key for this industry. So I really like what WeMark are doing, bridging the gap between digital market content creation and decentralization. So that's it for WeMark, guys. Let me know what you think about this platform. Um, I hope you have enjoyed the review. Please leave it a like and let me know if you want more unique ICOs covered like this in the future. But that's it for today. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. I'm in love with the cold, cold.